Okay, so topic of the show this week. Uh, so it may have come to your attention that the Sony Media event is taking place this Wednesday, and we haven't really talked about it. Yeah. Uh, uh, they also got, presumably, a couple bombs to drop. I don't know, maybe. Unless those bombs are all duds, thanks to a few leaks that have happened. Oh, <laughs> Which yeah. is the most likely scenario. Yeah. Uh, while we plan on giving our hot takes via a special episode after the event, like into our E3 episodes, yeah. we here at the Geek Tank uh, have decided to get together and give you a few of our predictions ahead of the event, running our brains through every possible situation. And if Not you're an listening to this task. after guys, Wednesday, you might as well just turn it off and go to the other episode. Throw this episode into the trash yeah. where it belongs, just like me. Now, do you guys, I didn't mention this before, but do you guys want to do it like we do with E3 where we make like this outlandish prediction that like doesn't really make any sense but would be fun anyway? Sure. Why the fuck not? Yay! <laughs> the Neo has 50 teraflops and is out now. 50 teraflops, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, uh, I was thinking we do this one by one. Just get it uh, run through everybody's little... I'm sorry. <laughs> Is that a really funny thought where it's like the Neo is the Scorpio and then all of a sudden you see like you see yeah. like uh, Phil Spencer who will be on the show next week and uh, <laughs> and Hold Shuhei that, Yoshida have like that combined die. bodies into this like Jesus horrific Christ. thing no, wait, wait, from the do, thing and it like stumbles out on stage and it's like <laughs> I don't know. Josh, I was, what is going on in your mind right now? I was thinking oh, like, really more like the I was thinking more like the fusion dance from Dragon Ball. Yeah. <laughs> I was yeah, imagining was like gruesome. a mechanical fusion scorpion coming Jan out with the PlayStation and Xbox logo on it, and it's like shooting fire out at the audience and yeah. killing people and throwing it into its like generator for power. Eventually, it takes over the world. This mass genocide brought to you by Mountain Dew. Fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> they brought your team like hella. So, uh, yeah, let's do this one by one. Uh, Dave, I feel like you've got some opinions. And you jumped okay. back into the podcast, thankfully. So I want to hear them. What do you got? So are we doing all of them at once, or are we doing, like... Yeah, we're on three. I, I, I don't have anything written down. I just have kind of some ideas. Uh, t- tell me a sweet... I, I will tell you. Okay. So, first of all, we all kind of know that this is mostly about the Neo. Like, it's it's pretty obvious at this point that Neo will at least be talked about. No I'll way. Say. No, I definitely I. not. Absolutely <laughs> not. No, but, um, my prediction about the Neo is that although they probably might have at first been planning to release it this year, that they're not going to. That they're going to delay it to next year, uh, probably a holiday season, and not necessarily beef it up, because I think it's a little too late at this point to beef to change the hardware, but they might try to do some testing to see if they can push the GPU a little bit further. Um, just try to match the, the Scorpio as best they can. Uh, mm-hmm. Do you think and, it will match the Scorpio? No, I mean they're gonna try. I mean it's, okay, like, I see, I see. it's like how the Xbox One, uh, you know, beefed its GPU to try and match the PS4, but it didn't really. It Honestly, worked, uh, I don't think they necessarily need to, um, because I I bet you most games will not even take advantage of the full hardware that the True. Xbox One I provides. So, or the, the Scorpio provides. So. Uh, I actually am in full agreement with Dave. I think they'll probably just me- they'll they'll mainly talk about the PS4 Slim that's Slim. been basically yeah. confirmed at this point. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think given that th- we've already seen retail models with boxes and whatnot, I think they might yeah, out they might the drop model. it and say like it's out like tomorrow or out today. They might try that. Yeah, they'll probably say uh, it's shipping yeah. to stores right now, which means they won't I be have, in stores yeah, that day, my, but they'll be on their way or whatever. One of my things was it was going to drop that day. It's going to be their thing of like, it, right. you can get it right now. Yeah, I mean that sounds pretty likely. Uh, yeah. I mean, they wouldn't. I don't. I don't know that they would have everything in boxes, packaged and ready to go if it was coming well, out. Well, I, I mean, I guess exactly, they would. Yeah. A couple months. Well, here's from the now. telltale thing. Like, because we know that people who work in retail can't keep their mouth shut. So, basically, if we get like something on like to, like to let everybody know, we're recording this Sunday night. So this is two. This is three days before the the, conf, the conference. So if we start seeing stuff on social media like, oh, there's this big box that just showed up to my store. I wonder what it could be then that's probably the sign that the Slim is going to be dropping that day. Um, yeah. If not, then it'll probably be like, oh, well, it's coming out in two weeks, or it's coming out in October or something. And if that's the case, if they if they announce the Slim, I don't really have this real huge desire to get the Slim model. It's not really, like, the biggest thing for me. So I'd probably just, you know, do what I was going to tell. I told Josh I would do is I'm going to go out and buy a regular PS4. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, because it doesn't make a difference to me at this point. But if they, if we're wrong... 
and they say, okay, well, the Neo's coming out in October. I'm going to wait for the Neo. Right. Yeah, it, I, I really doubt that Neo is coming out even this year. But I, I yeah, think they will say that the Slim me. is he, it's here or it's coming to stores now. I, don't, I doubt they're going to have them in the stores, like, ready on the 7th. And then, oh. and then all at once, like, every Toys R Us and Target, like, is waiting for Shuhei to be like, going to shout now, and then they all, or Andrew House, and then they all just put it out on the shelf, you know? Uh, mm -hmm. I think it's more, yeah. I think it's more likely that they'll do the Apple approach where they're like you know you can order like it now. next week yeah so then it'll yeah, get yeah. there by like next week or that's whatever. a good point that's a really good point so also what? yeah, yeah like the, the Xbox One S for context like that came out two months after it got announced right Is that right was it two oh you're right yeah because it was announced at E3 and it came out last month so right yeah 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 might yeah. so, be one of those deals yeah right. Which I feel like would sort of miss the point, because that'd be missing Black Friday, but... I mean, who knows? It, it uh, yeah, I, they seem themselves. ready to go. I feel like they're gonna be like, they're here. And right, there's yeah, precedent yeah. for this. They did it with the uh, Elite Xbox 360. What, that was just out? Yeah, but that's that just day. like... They were like, oh, it's just out, yeah. That's Yeah, that is true. <laughs> and they did, it with, they did it with the Sega Saturn. That didn't work Fuck so yeah, well, though. Did. Yeah, but that <laughs> was, Japan, that's though. different, though. Uh, yeah. th the thing with the Sega well, Saturn is like they didn't have a lot of dev kits out, and like they were they just like, oh, it's out. out. They too. Yeah, there wasn't yeah, a lot yeah, of. Yeah, they fucked over. Yeah. They burned a lot of bridges. What's different yeah. about the Xbox Elite was like you already had a bunch of 360s out in the wild. There's already tons of games for it, so it's like not that big a deal if it. Comes yeah, it's out not right changing out. anything other than like the literal color and the hard drive size. So, yeah. it's not like you know. Yeah, that and the stupid little light bar that's going into the uh, the new controller, which is weird. Yeah, but. I don't understand what the fuck that's about. I don't know what that's about. Also, I just feel like it's going to waste the PS4's controller's battery life even more, which, mind no, you, the, Jesus, no, I hate No, it replaces the other one. It replaces it? That's, Still, why? That's what I understand, because the other one... The, the other one makes sense because, because it communicates with the, the fucking camera. But how do you make the light bar on the touchpad communicate if... I think it still it's does, it's just it. thinner, and it'll use less power. I, I'm sure they've thought this through. Like oh, I, you don't you don't understand its immersion. Yeah, it's all about immersion. Oh, yeah, yeah. Other, I see. I and see. And also, other like, the light bar sometimes for some games like Transistor and like when Killzone came out, actually conveys information about the game. But the problem is because of the way the light bar is actually angled on the PS4 controller, you can't actually see it. So like if it's on the front of the controller, it makes it more uh, evident. So I. I don't know. But I feel like it's fine. Is that it's like for motion control because it communicates with the camera where it's stuff? Because there's no diameters in the. Sure, controller. but like no one's really. I mean, think about it. Like no one's using it. I'm not disagreeing, but I'm also saying yeah. no one's using it for I, the other. I think Sony well. set it up that way to be like, yeah, people are going to use it for this, but now it's like. That's the thing with Sony. They uh, have these ideas, and then nobody gives a fuck about them. Yeah. Which is oh, half yeah. my worry about Same with some of the other stuff. Everybody does that, Same though. I mean, there was Nintendo, Connect though. and... Yeah, but Connect they extended for a long time. Compare that yeah. with fucking PS uh, PlayStation Move. Connect was a fairly good success, I would say. It at least was a... You know, you couldn't find it in stores for, like, a while. I would say that's two true. Christmases, it was uh, doing pretty strong, and then it that's, fell off. There's, that's true. I knew people who weren't really into games who actually knew what a Connect was and what a fucking PlayStation Move was, so... Yeah, yeah, that's... That's what I've been saying. Yeah. What else you got, Dave? Um. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like, once again I didn't write any of these. Is down. that all you got, though? Is that like the big thing that you wanted to talk about? Well, that PS4 Slim is most likely going to be coming out soon, and that Neo is most likely going to be delayed. Those are the really big ones I, I was okay. going for. All right, mm. Steve, do you have any? So, fucking PS4 Neo is going to be talked about. We're going to talk about it a lot. It is going to be weaker than the Xbox, uh, the new Xbox thing, whatever the fuck they're calling that. Scorpio, Scorpio. I think. Yeah. yeah. It's still so. It's still going to be the specs they're going to talk about. They're going to be weaker. They're going to try and spin that as not being a terrible thing, even though the high they've been riding for the last three years has been um, them having the more powerful console. Um, which, is, which is just stupid anyway, because you know it's really yeah, not that much more powerful. Increase. Well, well it's, it's not that much more powerful, and most developers don't make a huge like they don't take a huge advantage of it. Yeah. Um. At least the games run in 1080p, so there's that. Um. And um, PSVR launches in October, I think. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. I believe so. Yeah. So I think they might also take the opportunity to to 
plug that a little bit more, show off some of the, like the, the oh, like, yeah. this, is, this is this is we're launching. Um, have they announced the price for it already? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, I mean, so I've you know, got, there's a lot of different pricings for it because there's multiple versions you can get though. Okay, so like reiterate the different bundles, the different pricing, the launch day. Um, show off some of the, like the launch titles with it as well. Just try and I think they they'd probably give more of a push to that because this is kind of like what like a month before the launch date a yeah, month and a bit something like that um so yeah i think if the, if they're doing a, a thing and that you know if they cover more than just one th like if they're covering just one thing neo definitely that's it um but if they're covering like more than one thing i think they'll have a good push for psvr since that is like their next kind of big thing that's coming out the door I agree. um and and like so you know like I said like uh, reiterate the the dates reiterate the bundles reiterate the price um, re like show off some of the like the big kind of titles they want to push PSVR with like uh, DOA three and the fucking creeper mode. Um, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, um, no, but in all seriousness, actually like show off some of the games that they're kind yeah, of. Yeah, I, I think it's interesting that want to push. Yeah, like PSVR. They were with. so they were so quiet at E three about PS. And like it's coming this year. Yeah. Like, so what, like, we got Batman VR and we got one Final Fantasy, which looks like trash. Resident Evil. Oh, that's true. Resident Evil Seven. That was another yeah. thing. Which looks so. cool, which looks super cool. But um, Jesus, like I don't know. I really hope that they start showing like every game that got announced, as well as maybe a few more. Persona Five VR. Maybe. Why would you even yeah. want that? <laughs> but you can literally take like the the perspective of the the protagonist while you're walking around like. Uh, Tokyo and whatnot. That does not sound I, appealing at all to me. Awesome. That sounds like fun. What are we Dave, talking about? What is this? Dave wants oh. Persona 5 in VR for some oh. reason. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh, <that wasn't> cool. <laughs> I'm just giving you shit. Then, I, uh, I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I could agree. I think they're barely going to talk about the Neo, if I'm being honest. Oh, I yeah. think they're literally going to do what Microsoft did and be like, it exists. It's powerful. Show, just be and thing. it's coming. Like, I feel like really if they'll the obnoxiously game, throw out a teraflop fucking thing and then people will... <laughs> I, oh, I it's got this, this many teraflops. I think they're going to be quiet about it just because they know, everybody knows it's been outed that it's not going to be as strong. So I feel like they want to keep that narrative as quiet as possible. I almost feel like it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't at all. Especially if the weird prices that everyone's throwing around for the Scorpio, which are like five to six hundred dollars, if they come out and they're like, "Yeah, Neo, it's not as powerful as the Scorpio, but it's you know, it's four fifty. I think four fifty is totally acceptable. That's actually my exact uh, prediction. Yeah. I, I was I think both of them are going to be around five hundred, six hundred, and the companies have been taking a pretty big loss off of that sale. Price. I think yeah. it's interesting looking at the different perspectives that they're taking on this because I, I, I don't know if this is necessarily exa what Sony's doing, but it feels like this is more or less like, I guess a PS4.5 because they're still expecting to make the f the P PlayStation 5 at some point, and the Scorpio I think is being billed as like, no, you're going to keep this around for a while. I feel like well, they'll never. I honestly think they won't be a. PS5. Or Not right. in that regard. Yeah, like I don't think they, they might I think call we're just it gonna keep this now. They might call it the PlayStation 5, but it'll still run PlayStation 4 games, and it's you know it's gonna be like gaming PCs basically. Yeah, so well, if you keep you the x86 architecture going forward, then Wait, everything's you... backwards compatible, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Which is I don't understand why you want to kill yourself, Kyle. First, because for... that. Okay, think about it, right? Because you can we're play a PlayStation 4.5. That's going yeah. to be taking a marginal upgrade to the PlayStation 4. It's still being held back by PlayStation 4's technology, so the jump is not going to be very large. It's also going to be something that we're going to be keeping on for, let's say, another five years, and then we're getting another upgrade that's going to be, again, another marginal one that's an in-between step. That's going to also mean that games are never going to have a large upgrade in fidelity ever again, even though the technology is upgrading at a faster rate. So what I'm saying is, if that is true, then all we're going to be seeing is tiny upgrades at marginal times throughout the years and we're going to have tiny I mean, console cycles. It's going to bubble everything up. And as, I have many thoughts on this, but that's... As someone who has an artist friend who used to do contract work for Ubisoft, games are getting prohibitively expensive, both yes. as, far, as far as time I and the agree. amount of yeah. money it takes to make them keep like to keep making them look prettier. We prettier. saw this happen with the H whenever HD became a thing with the 360, right? Because I mean, I was just watching this past week um, the fucking Halo 3 special edition documentaries and stuff, 
And they mm -hmm. kept saying it's like four times more work to get anything done because now you're making things in HD as opposed to whatever fucking shit it was before then. Dude, so now we're talking about <laughs> whatever. I'm saying if we're making things in 4K now, that's going to be requ requiring so much more work specifically for artists like Steve was talking about. Yeah, that's going like to be it more takes money. a lot. It takes a lot exactly. more like that's, power. It takes a, a lot more time to do a 4K cost. texture. Well, so that means that games are going to be extremely more expensive going on. We are raising our like expectations of games to the point where like we want Witcher 3 to be like every game like I'm not saying everybody wants Witcher 3 but yeah. like that's the new standard for western RPGs right so not everybody can put out that sort of a game it's creating this bubble that's going to eventually just going to explode I'm not saying we're running towards some fucking cataclysmic games are going to die but I am saying if like if we're running towards the situation where we're having console upgrades and generations every four years and it's not even like real ones, it's half steps where we are constantly making things halfway backwards and forwards compatible, I don't think that's the way it should go, which is also why I think PlayStation isn't that dumb because I've talked about this before. I think the Sony uh, PlayStation Neo as well as the Scorpio are coming out not because people are so fervent for better better graphics on fucking games because as much as we like to say that this is going to be a powerful machine when it comes out it will still be outclassed by you know the best PC you can buy right it's never going to be on par and that's always going to be the case right so if we're moving forward it's just going to be okay PlayStation Neo comes out guess what that's a new console that you can buy that is automatically readjusting the price up at the top and right now as PlayStation and both Xbox have dropped their prices so significantly that even though console sales by units are extending past anything that we've seen before, the actual income that companies are getting via revenue is not as much as it should be if it was like compared to 360 and PS3s, right? Because back then the competition wasn't as tense because think about it, Xbox One and PS4, similar machines. So it's just, in my opinion anyway, this is all based off of getting the price point back up at the top and Xbox, which I think smartly are approaching this as, okay, if you want a game system that's the same, that's running all these games normally, you can buy the Xbox or the One S, which has been dropped down in a price. It's a really good point. You can go ahead and buy that. But if you're a hardcore gamer, you know, go ahead, buy the Scorpio because it's fucking hella expensive. Scorpio is going to be around for a while. Maybe it's going to be modular like uh, Phil Spencer talks about. The PS4 Neo, for instance, since we haven't heard as much, I think can't take the similar approach, so that's why I think a PS4 or a PlayStation 5 is on the way because I think this is again based about uh, based on readjusting the price point, not as much as it is redefining the way that consoles work in essence. I think that's a bit extreme. I'm not saying it's impossible, but that's just my opinion on the whole thing. There's not a chance in hell consoles are ever going to be modular. Uh, yeah, I, I don't, I don't think way. so either. I think that's a bad approach. I think Phil Spencer's it's, it's a bit not... weird. It's not so much it's a bad approach, it's just that most of the way, like the way that consoles get the amount of power they have is that everything's on the same piece of silicon. Mm -hmm. um, so you can have less, but you can get more out of less compared to what you, like if you had equivalent parts in a computer, because you're, you've got everything on different pieces of silicon, it takes longer for the information to travel from one part to another than when everything's on the same chip or the same board. Um, so like that, so you can get more out of less that way. So it doesn't make sense to not continue think, to do them in a non-modular modular, fashion. Doesn't that take away the the whole point of having a console? Well, one platform that every developer is familiar yeah, exactly. with. Yeah, exactly. Developing for. I think it would just muddle everything up more so than like having two consoles out in the same market would be. But I mean, the the con it sounds like they're designed from a hardware standpoint very similarly. So that shouldn't. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huge Clearly. effect on things. I, yeah, I think it's going to be easy for somebody to to make a game on both. But again, like, we're not going to be seeing huge giant upgrades, right? Because well, I mean, so. whatever That's... game that we get on a PS4 Neo, it's going to have to run on the PS4 like, for as at far least as... a few years. I mean, sorry to interrupt, David. Just, I just as far as upgrades go, I think the biggest thing you're going to see is if a game runs 1080p 30 on one, it'll run 1080p 60 on the other. Like that's it. Yeah, I agree. Also, what, whatever HDR, because now that's a thing and people talk about it all the time, which is not apparently noticeable if you just have a 1080p TV, but if you got a 4K, it's apparently changing everything. So I don't know. Oh well, okay. I don't know. 
Yeah. It's one of those fucking EVs buzzwords. are going to be way more prevalent in the next five to ten years, so... Yeah, for yeah, sure. Definitely. They're coming down in price. Yeah. And uh, I think sorry, eventually Dave, they'll what? be pretty ubiquitous. Dave, what were you going to say when I before I interrupted you? Sorry. No, it wasn't you. Uh, <laughs> basically, <laughs> what I've been trying to say is that... Uh, Kyle, you keep bringing up this thing about uh, how these games are you're not going to be seeing as big of jumps between generations if we keep doing this and my rebuttal to that would be that we're already seeing that I mean the jump between PS2 to PS3 was you know pretty big but the jump from PS1 to PS2 was much bigger the jump from PS3 to PS4 isn't that isn't as big I it's would say if you, just, if you compare polygon counts it's fucking huge I will say yeah, however, if you're staring I do at agree the friggin that, screen and doing I do that, agree that, yeah. that there is a smaller leap because to my point that I used to have in the last console generation, it lasted too long. I don't think 10 years is is a proper timeline well, for a console. Yeah, and it's also, it's a mix of the fact that the um, that the economy crashed. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a know, good, basically, and I agree if, with you, yes. The PS3 to PS4, 360 to Xbox One. We didn't see a huge yeah. jump. And uh, that's because we got to the point where I think we were pushing these consoles to their literal upper limits. And I think... Yeah. And I think if we have a similar situation here, uh, it's it, it's not about necessarily yeah. running out the clock or perhaps trying to get ahead of the game. I think it's just the way consoles have always worked. It was a similar time frame. It's not in figuring out how technology works and the pricing. And I think there's just a lot of complicated things that go into this that is more about like like at the speed at which new graphics cards are made and how fast those prices come down for consoles to really catch up. Yeah. I think uh, right now we're like out of sync is is my biggest issue. But I mean, again, this is all my opinion. I'm not saying that I'm I'm fucking absolutely right. But I mean, we've gotten yeah, way I mean, off topic now already. Yeah, um, I was gonna say this is all just our opinions anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you have any more thoughts on the uh, the event? Yes, um, the Sony won't plug it, but someone's gonna make VR porn, and that's like <laughs> for the PS VR, and that's oh what's God. gonna make that sell for sure. How's that gonna work? Because it's gonna be like a closed ecosystem. Nonsense, dude. They're gonna. Th they're gonna VR is gonna work on PC in like the first week. So okay, in like the first or second week. I thought you meant like like fucking a PlayStation Four game. Where no, it's not even PS Four game. It's gonna be video. So some company is gonna release some anime virtual reality titties for you in VR, and people gonna be illusion. Eat that shit up. Why? Why would they do PSVR though? You know, like I feel like it'd be easier to get because it's, it's probably going to be the cheapest and, and headset. Buy. It is. It's probably. I think it's the it's the one headset that has the highest probability of becoming a mainstream VR machine. Um, I wonder how that's gonna. I wonder how VR is gonna one. be in Japan. Because I think if VR is gonna hit or PSVR is gonna hit anywhere, it's gonna hit in Japan first. I mean, fucking, they have dead or alive extreme beach volleyball. Yeah, creeper dude. mode. So, <laughs> Jesus Christ, that I'm gonna keep that bringing video. that shit up. I saw that, that video, video and I erupted laughing. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty much the Neo Gaff at work. The weird not supposed to do, and I saw that simple. video and I'm like, oh my god, this is great. I just don't understand. Like, just make a hentai game at that point, you know? Just like about the, go to it. Yeah, I saw, I saw a headline. Yeah. On an article where it was like sexual assault, the game, and I went pretty much. I saw that. Yep. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's pretty yeah. accurate. Oh like, my god. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, just happy doing? things like this still exist. Not because I I partake in in enjoying them. I just get, I always get a good laugh on a Yeah, I'm it's like, a good laugh. Oh, yeah, this is fucking. Things like this exist in place in other places in the world. This is fucking great. The world <laughs> we live in today. The world so many possibilities. <laughs> so many possibilities. You can do anything. Anything is possible. Flying Rhino Junior High. Kevin Garnett. Shout out, my dude. <laughs> anything else, Frost? Um, no. <laughs> all, right, all right, Josh. Let's let's get into your brain. What do you uh -huh. think? I want to. Uh, I want to like put my fingers in it. Ooh. And that's out for Josh's brain. Well. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Jeez, um, <laughs> honestly, I don't have anything, like, really new to contribute. I, I feel like they're not really going to talk about the Neo much, because they're probably going to save that for E3. Um, I'm not one of these oh, people that thinks out. they're going to announce a new handheld. I think that's probably done forever. Yeah. I've um, seen those gap threads. People are... They're like, believe... Believe, yeah. believe. And I will say, yeah. the Vita was a cool machine. It just, Absolutely. 
the, the uh, although back touch was pretty handle. stupid. Um, That's true. Back touch was dumb, and like nobody used it either. For, it like, makes R two and L two work though, doesn't it? Yeah, but they could have just playing like a they just now game or something. R two on it. <laughs> okay. How would that even work? I don't know. It would be amazing. That's how it would work. I uh, see. I see now, Josh. Thank you. Yeah, that's all. You know, that's game development's easy. No I'm kidding. <laughs> oh sure, yeah, super easy. Girlfriend's gonna come in here and punch me in the eye. Uh, <laughs> game writing, anybody can do it. Am I right? Yeah, am I right? <laughs> Pretty soon, I'm in the doghouse. Uh, oh man. Let's see. Um, I think they're barely gonna talk about Neo. Um, they're not going to talk about Vita at all. They're going to pretty much oh, yeah. talk great. about... I think they'll like, open the show with, like, PS Slim, PS4 Slim. They talk about how it's pretty much out now. And then they'll talk about PSVR a bit. Like, I think Dave or somebody said uh, they'll show off a couple games that use PSVR that maybe we haven't seen before. They'll announce, like, some new stuff for current games that have VR or support or... Maybe they'll show off like some more Resident Evil. I don't think this event's gonna be super long either. I think 40 minutes yeah. max is gonna 40 be. 40 minutes, damn. Yeah, like they're not gonna show much. Um, Are they gonna open with an orchestra too? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> they have to do that every time. And, uh, oh Jesus, that was good though. I'm I'm not trying to bash. I did like that. They're gonna open That's with a, like this eyes wide shut esque party. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and an orchestra. <laughs> Uh, and instead of like bunny masks, everyone's wearing PSVR goggles. Oh, they're all naked. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> they're like, you will not repeat what you see here. And they're like, we're on Twitch. Jesus. You realize that, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, Tom Cruise runs out. Yeah. And Andrew House is like, oops. <laughs> naked oops. A, he's <laughs> naked in a splicer mask. <laughs> like, oh introducing my god. PS Slim. <laughs> this weird alternate version. The world that we live in. This sounds like the greatest press conference ever. <laughs> yeah, <it does. laughs> Come for um, the PlayStation, stay for the titties. Yeah. Anyway, uh, titties, dude, I'd stay for the, the dong, man. Dongs are fun. Yeah. That's on true. Point. Not, dude, a, not enough praise dong. for the dong. Not <laughs> enough dong, praise. For the dong. I'll stand up for the dong. I'll stand up for the dong. Stand I'll sit up. down on the dong as well. Jeez. Dicks out for the dong. Dicks out for dongs. Oh my god. Jesus. Like <laughs> totally derailed bad. Josh's this whole episode. <laughs> what, what were we talking about? This episode's a train wreck. Um, that is you're true. Welcome. Yeah, I called it in the beginning of the show. Yeah. I called it. Um, so, yeah, so they'll talk about some PSVR stuff. They'll reiterate, like, all the, you know, it's coming out next month. And then they'll be like, oh, and then we have another, like, piece of hardware coming out. And then they'll do the whole little montage video where. Uh, you know, it's they'll have developers be. being like, it's so powerful, it's so it's great. Literally, it's going to be the Xbox uh, Scorpio video with just the PlayStation uh, logo over it. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, they just edit out where they say Xbox and go, PlayStation. Yeah, it's just like, the most powerful PlayStation <laughs> <laughs> ever developed. And it'll be like, uh, they'll even be like a woman developer being like, it allows our art on the PlayStation to be even <laughs> <laughs> Even better, oh, or whatever. Uh, I'm just imagining like a, a freaking 400 by 500 cutout of the PlayStation logo on top of everything. Yeah, exactly. Good yeah, they, no, they, shape. yeah, they don't even like get rid of the background. It's just like yeah. a JPEG that hovers <laughs> over where the Xbox logo was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh, it's like made in Windows Movie Maker. Um, oh my God, that'd be even funnier. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, shit. Yeah, I don't think they're really going to talk about it. I think they're going to mention it and then tease right. it and say, yeah, it comes out next... It'll be out next year. We're going to talk more about it at E3. And then maybe one of the things I think they may announce at the show is a Horizon Zero Dawn console bundle. I think maybe that's pretty likely. That'd be cool. That's going to happen. Um, Horizon Zero Dawn. Getting so much hype. It just seems super likely. It's a first-party studio releasing yeah. a really big, really hyped game. When is that out? Is that this February. year? February. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see, I see. You got time. But still, thank, yeah, that's gonna, thank God. that's gonna be the game. <laughs> that's gonna be their game for next year. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah I think that's about it. I, I think people may be a little underwhelmed. So I'm not expecting much. So if I get yeah. more than that, I will be kind of blown away, but we'll see. Do you have any bold statements? make 
bolts. Anything random. Yeah, I thought my uh, I thought my fusion statement was pretty. That's a good one. That's a yeah. good one. I I'm putting my chips in on if that. If I had a I bold statement, hope. then I would say maybe they release or announce a new handheld, but I really doubt it. I just really yeah. doubt it. Holy shit. That would be that would be something. I think everyone would just make fun of it. Like from the get go. Of course they would. Oh, yeah. Vita but, too, yeah. Uh. All, like, but Vita they would have to so immediately well. like if they were gonna announce a new handheld, they'd have to come out and be like, It has no back touch. It ha it doesn't it have no, proprietary memory cards worry. anymore. It um, uh That's the thing though with Sunny. Like they do oh, a great job, but then they wait, have like that one second. thing. It had just... proprietary memory cards. Vita? Vita? Are you fucking kidding me? Did you not know, Did you this? know about this? No. Yeah, that yeah. was like one of the worst things about it. Oh my god, that's fucking retarded. Why would you do that in today's market? Exactly. Well, to be, it was in what, 2011? Dude, the, the proprietary like, so. memory cards, I think, are what killed the Vita. Yeah. You know. Dude, they're oh. so expensive. Yeah, Jesus. that, that they still and... still are. Yeah. I can't... I bought, what, an 8 gig? And it was like 30 fucking 8 gig bucks. doesn't last at all. <laughs> yeah. That's my thing. Yeah, I um, always swap out games on my Vita, so... Yeah, uh, the other thing is, I think the biggest problem I had with the Vita is that they made console games for the handheld, and they didn't make handheld games. Like, uh, I think they should oh, have tried see. to make... And when I say they should have tried to make Pokemon, I'm not saying they should have tried to make a Pokemon clone, but when you no, think no, about... I, it, I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. When you, yeah. Games that, like, belonged on that platform. Yeah, because yeah. Pokemon does not belong on a console. It's Pocket Monsters, it's very much about, like, you know... Mobility. It's just mobility, it's taking it on the go. It's designed about, around you being able to take it on the go, right? Exactly. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I feel like I they their, needed their to make experiences was, like that. You know what I mean? I think their so, idea was, like, indies would fill that gap. And then it just became only indie games. And Pretty like, much. Now it's just the random ass fucking. I will admit, Japanese game a great up. place to play indie games. Absolutely. They look and feel when they awesome make it there, on the platform. Every once in a while. Yeah. Like how yeah, long did it take? Like, fucking uh, Axiom Verge. Took forever. Yeah. If you like indie games and you like Japanese games. Vita's a superb system. For yeah. sure. Yeah. Is and it if you like Tear Away. 3 on the Vita <laughs> as well? Or am uh, I imagining that? Wait, what? Well, not enough, not enough processing power for those jumblies. Not enough processing for those jumblies. Yeah, that's a good point. Too many uh, booby movies, if you get what I'm, what I'm saying. Booby movies. I'm gonna trademark that, by the way. Nobody say that ever. <laughs> it's already been <laughs> said. It's public record now. God. But damn. you don't need to trademark it because copyright law on the internet states that if you said it first, then you. Uh, copyright. Oh really? Yep. Oh great! So I'm I'm like those two guys that said millennials. Journalism major here who took media law and ethics. Bam! Good job, Josh. Good job. Right. Did you have any more thoughts on the on the PlayStation event? Nope. I think people will be underwhelmed, but. I agree. I think inherently. I it's think it'll be to... fine, but I think people yeah. will. I think people are expecting earth-shattering news, and I think they're gonna get pretty by the books announcements. Yeah. They're expecting their pants to be filled with 20 pounds of shit. Half-Life 3 is coming exclusively to the PlayStation Neo! Dude, people would be so mad. I would be kind of mad. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'd be pissed off as fuck. Because I'd be like, why? I want to play this on Steam. Exactly. <laughs> like, why would Valve go to PlayStation? <laughs> why did this happen? Yeah, Gabe Newell Gabe comes in. out, and he's like part of the Borg. It's like, oh no, they got him. Ricochet no. too! Yeah. Have you guys seen that Flash animation? Oh, no. Ricochet 2, yeah. Yeah, where he, like, gave busts through the wall at E3, and instead of announcing Half-Life, it's just Ricochet. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, I have a few predictions, by the way. Let's see, what's my first one? I have, like, a whole bulletin list. <laughs> you don't even know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm making this up on the spot. <laughs> Sony will open show with already known things, such as PSVR and PlayStation Now on PC. So it's going to start off really fucking boring. They're going to go over shit that we already know. PlayStation VR is coming out in October. We have these many games in development. We have these many games at launch. You can also have PlayStation Now on the PC so you can play PlayStation 3 games that are not that good on the PC. I'm That's so excited you can play that you can not play a Uncharted. single fucking person. Yeah, I don't really get why PlayStation Now Because is they can be... make money on it. I mean, this is true, but it just looks to me like a PlayStation... Uh, what is it, Vita TV situation? 
where it's like, oh, that's a good idea, and no one will get it. It probably but, didn't cost them that much to make it available on PC, and they can make money no, off no, of no. it, so they probably don't. Like, if they can make even a little bit of money off of it, they probably don't give a shit. They gotta get those money grubbing hands all over that greasy PC market. Well, I'm not even. I'm not even saying that to be facetious. Like companies exist no, no, to make I agree money. With you. I if agree. it was easy to get the service running on PC, then it's like it's it's an, it's enough. It's a no fucking brainer. <laughs> I think we did. What was that last week that we talked about this though? Was it last week? I can't remember. No, it was like two weeks ago. Either way, uh, we talked about that, and I just feel like the controller is the more important part in that. Yeah. Because Josh was talking about how. That controller is going to be dope playing whatever fucking games Josh plays. Uh, you can you can use DS um, for Windows. Right. Yeah. Um, which lets you, you map the X input stuff on a DualShock 4 on Windows, but these will be official drivers, so there's that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's Thank God, there. right? Freaking official drivers for the DS4, please. <laughs> God. I'm waiting Let's forever. PlayStation Slim. It will be revealed like right after they talk about that stuff. It will replace the current PlayStation 4 model without a price decrease and it will be available right now. They'll say that thing. Without a price know. decrease? Oh, but so you mean it'll be 400 Or do you mean it'll be 350 No, whatever, whatever price the PS4 is at right now. So um, maybe the current model will like get a price decrease and then they'll give the PlayStation 4 Slim like whatever... What is the PS4 out right now? 350, I think. I think yeah. I think so, yeah. yeah, so because I, I have a shitty Canadian currency that everything's priced in. Right, that's true. Yeah, Canada is <laughs> all different and weird, which will make yeah. it even more difficult because uh, PlayStation 4 Neo. I, I'm, I'm assuming it will come out with a new name. I'm guessing right here, PlayStation 4X, because X to the extreme. X going. X going to gonna give it to you. X is going to give it to you. They're gonna do it. Oh man! They're gonna oh, give it. The day we get a the day we get a soundboard back, that's one of them. <laughs> it's true. Uh, I'm also predicting 450 to 500 US dollars. So I think 450 is probably. The reason is just uh, I, because they don't want to take a loss on it, and I think they came out and said that they're not doing that anymore. They're not gonna take a loss. I can't. Maybe I'm wait, wait, wait. They said they're the not PS4. taking a loss on it at all. Yeah. When did they say that? They said that about the PS4 is what I'm saying. Well, they so took a small it, loss on PS4 for a bit, but they got they bounced back from that real quick. When? I heard in an interview that they weren't taking any loss on it. Oh, I read that they took a loss for about the first six months, and then they bounced back. Yeah, and usually it okay. takes a couple of years, but the... Yeah, so that's know, why I was really surprised. I might be confusing really then the PS4 with... Oh, who am I... I mean, it's kind of like Amazon. PS3? They sell... Fire tablets still at a loss, but the thing is that you can only use the fire tablets to buy stuff inside of Amazon's ecosystem, so they just make all that money back. So, yeah. Still, what I'm saying, 450 to 500, just because I feel like they don't want to make loss on the Neo because they already have such a giant market install base on the PlayStation 4. So I don't think sales for the Neo are literally going to start like War has, because I think to some extent it's plateaued because now we're seeing the Xbox One with its lower price month after month. I mean, it's only been, what, fucking one month now, but still. Uh, at least one game will be shown off running on Neo with no side-by-side -side comparison. So they're just going to show it looking... Oh, they're going to show it just running on Neo? They're streaming it, and, and no one will know what the hell is going on, <laughs> and they're going to think that they're really smart. And that's just because I think Sony can be silly. Yeah. Maybe yeah. I'm being a bit... No, that sounds pretty reasonable, reasonable to me. I, I think you're being... I think you got it. Yeah. So yeah. gamers, that all games will work backwards and forwards compatible. Whoa. And, uh... uh let's see, last one I got. PlayStation VR plus PS4 announced. So whenever the Neo does come out, it'll have a PS VR bundle included. That's yeah, what I, I got, that. guys. That's what I got. Because, I mean, VR's got to be a big push. I was agreeing with Steve when you were talking about um, they didn't say about jack shit during E3. Uh -huh. So they got to start pushing it because it's been pretty light. And uh, yeah. PSVR is going to be coming out. Well, and all the other all the other big-name VR guys are already out. And, and, like, I guess they're not really competing exactly. with them because they're releasing them in the console space. But still, it's, it's right. one of those things where you... you it's like, the, not everyone who... who 
plays games or buys games stuff is is, is tapped into this kind of stuff as as we right. can be. So um, they need to have some kind of a mainstream marketing push and and get kind of mainstream people and advertising or word of mouth going out to the average consumer that this is a thing and they can finally use space technology to play games. Space. Space is the place. The final frontier. Uh, Toonami always says. Is that, that what they is. said? Uh, I've got one last question to ask everybody. Oh. One last question. Mm-hmm. So uh, with the event, what's going to be the biggest focus with the most time? Not like what's the most important bomb drop, but what's going to have the most time devoted to it during the event. So we've got PSVR, PS4 Slim, PlayStation Neo, and uh, I guess you could add games, but I doubt that. So, what do you guys think? I'm going PSVR. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna agree with Kyle. I'm going back on what I said before, where I was thinking that Neo would be the big the big focus of it. But yeah, I'm going I, just as I've considered it a little bit more. I think PSVR is gonna be the big kind of push that they put out with this. I'm thinking. What did that talk? Yeah, that's a that's a hard call. I mean, it's a hello. Hello. Yeah, yeah. I, I think you cut out, Kyle. It's fine. Nah, um I hear you. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. Uh, go ahead, Dave. Sorry. I'll say it's a hard call. I mean, it's a. I. That's hard. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say that a bunch of times because I just I don't know. Um, I probably I got the hard say, questions, the hard hitting questions. Uh, I, I might skew towards. I might say they probably use equal amount of time for VR and Neo. Um, mm-hmm. I think that they're gonna talk about Neo. They're probably not gonna show a box or anything. They're probably gonna do something similar to what Scorpio was about. Not but video. might go a little more in depth about it. They might show games running on Neo possibly. Um, mm-hmm. Whereas Scorpio showed nothing. Uh, just to, right. because they're always going to try to like one up Xbox on that, so they're gonna they're gonna show a little bit more than what Xbox showed us of yeah. Scorpio. I think that may a lot. Yeah, to... yeah, I... yeah, yeah. I agree. I think a big thing in this is going to be like they looked at the Scorpio reveal and said, "Okay, how do we beat that?" Yeah, personally, that's what they're. Anyway, that's what they're Josh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, probably VR. Yeah. VR, yeah. Since it comes out next month, and they're gonna want to try and get people to go out and buy it, so. Right. Yeah, right. That's 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 more or less my line of thinking with that. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. Anyone have any closing thoughts on a PlayStation meeting, or anything that we talked? About? It's gonna be interesting. Well, yeah, that it is. That it, or it a letdown. <laughs> <laughs> I get the feeling we're all gonna be. Uh, maybe both. <laughs> both. So, uh, yeah. All right.